Hello, you guys. So, I'm doing daily readings now, but it's going to be collectives, okay? And also, including with the daily reading, it's going to be guidance reading as well, okay? What you should um, incorporate today, okay? And what you should incorporate furthermore, you know, in general, make it like a lifestyle, okay? Now, I want to give a shout out to Loving Myself, okay? She's a tarot reader, and I saw her on, I saw this on her Instagram post, these cards, and I really love them. It really resonated with me. Um, so definitely check out her channel. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below, okay? Um, but very beautiful cards, okay? So we're gonna go to that later, okay? Now, how I'm doing this is, this is gonna be the past position, this is gonna be the near future, this is going to be what you don't know about your love life, this is gonna be what's really going on and what's in the future, um, what's gonna be the future energy, okay? Now, what you left in the past, I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you left someone who you once thought was a wish for you. You felt like this was the one for you, okay, with the Nine of Cups being there. Um, but I feel like a lot of you guys had to leave this person with the Eight of Cups being the near future energy, okay? And what you should, what you don't know about your love life is you got the hangman, okay? So even though you walk away from them, I feel like they're still stuck, okay? They're still stuck on you, okay? Or stuck in their ways, stuck in their behaviors, okay, with the hangman. This is someone who's not going to deliver you the growth that was needed for you, okay? And with the Seven of Cups being the future energy, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have options, okay? But within these, within this time, okay, if you already walk away, if you haven't walked away yet, I feel like you may, you may feel like, you may feel confused whether or not you made the right decision because you really had deep emotions with this person. You really thought this was your end all be all, okay? But with the Queen of Wands, being the energy of what's really going on, I feel like because of you getting out the situation, you are empowering yourself of attracting a better partner, of attracting a better situation with the Queen of Wands being there, okay? You guys made that decision, okay? And it's going to bring you something that's going to be better with the Queen of Wands being there, okay? Now, when I clarify... The, the Nine of Cups, I got the Emperor, I got the Five of Swords, I got the Five of Swords, I got the Ten of Wands as well, okay? So even though this person was, at the time, you felt that this person was your wish fulfillment, this person was a manipulator, okay, with the Five of Wands being, I mean, the Five of Swords being there, and the Emperor being there, I feel like this person was definitely controlling where this relationship go, okay? And not in a positive way, like in a more, like, manipulating way okay this person really know how to <laughs> manipulate your emotions okay to make you feel guilty that you should come back even though you want what's best for you okay and you probably say no you just have to stop cheating or you have to stop doing this and that and then you leave and then this person know how to manipulate your emotions so you can come back and seem like you're the wrong person okay um again this is someone who make you felt like, make you felt overwhelmed for one, but also make you feel like not secure within your own self with the Ten of Wands, okay? Um, Ten of Wands is about burdens, right? But also this person's like, it seemed like, this person's like kind of ashamed of these burdens as well too, okay? So this person was putting you through a lot, okay? On an emotional level, a whole lot, okay? Through, through manipulation, okay? Now, when I clarify the Eight of Cups, I have the Page of Wands, I got the Six of Swords, and I got the King of Wands, okay? So, you leaving, okay, which is going to be the near future energy, current energy, um, you're moving to common waters with the Six of Swords, okay? 
And some of you guys might have someone else, okay, with the King of Wands being there. This person can be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, since we got the Queen and the King. But I feel like you guys are moving on to common waters. A lot of you guys, again, have someone else, okay? If you don't have someone else, you are expecting that someone is going to be way better than this person that you left, okay? Now, while you're leaving, I feel like the past, your ex is still trying to communicate with you, okay? Still trying to talk you out from leaving, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Now, when I come for the hangman, I got the five of wands, I have the six of cups, and the ten of cups, okay? So, what you don't know in your love life, again, this person's stuck on you. They still have emotions for you, okay, with the six of cups being there. Um, I feel like you did brought a lot of happiness to them, but I feel like they brought you a lot of burden, okay? Um, it's like two dualities. This person could be your karmic partner, okay? This person could be a Cancer, a Pisces, Okay? Um, there was a lot of conflict, okay? So, even though you move on, okay, or will be moving on, this person is still going to be stuck on you, okay? That's what I'm seeing. This person is still going to be stuck on you with the hangman, the six of cups, and the ten of cups, okay? Especially if you have kids with this person. Now, what's in the near future for you? I got the seven of cups. The Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Five of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah, even though this person's stuck, I'm seeing later, they are trying to work really hard to entrap you, to entice you, okay, with that Devil card being there. And the main reason why they're doing so is because they want attention from you, okay? They, this person might have abandonment issues, okay, so, Okay, abandonment through childhood, the childhood abandonment or when you had other previous relationships than you, um, this person experienced a lot of abandonment from their other partners, okay? And probably that's why they're projecting their negative qualities towards this relationship that you had with them, okay? Because it's like they are not fully healed, okay? And they're carrying their own baggage to the relationship that you had with them, okay? Or have with them. But I feel like they are working really hard, not in a positive way, but more like trying to entrap you, okay, with the devil and the five of pentacles being there. Um, they, with the four swords, if you guys have broken up for, with them for good, like you don't want nothing to do with them, they're definitely trying to figure out a weak spot for you of how to really entice you, tempt you with the devil card being there, okay? They're really working really hard to trap you okay and that's what i'm seeing with the four of swords and the devil okay now with the queen of wands so with this combination i feel like you guys are healing yourself okay you guys are knowing what you deserve okay you guys are gaining self-worth by walking away from the situation and you guys are healing and being optimistic okay the star is all about optimism um it represents aquarius so you could be aquarius or this person might be aquarius but you know that you deserve the best okay and with the star card being there you also putting your faith and hope onto the divine okay onto whatever you believe in the creator the universe etc because you know that they have to be something way better, okay? Something way better than this situation, okay? So, what I'm seeing, you guys, is that today, you are planning or have already walked away from this person. And I see emotionally and energetically, the past is still stuck on you, okay? And I feel like they're definitely trying to plan something where... They will try to entice you or tempt you to be back with them again, okay? But what's really going on, I got the Queen of Wands. So I feel like a lot of you guys are setting your ground, okay? Knowing that you deserve the best, okay? That's what I'm seeing. 
Now, for the general energy, I got the Nine of Pentacles. So, again, a lot of you guys are just probably going to remain single, okay? And when I clarify that, I got the Ten of Pentacles, okay, which represent long-term. I feel like you guys are just waiting for the right person where you feel like you can grow old with this person. You feel like this person is loyal to you, okay, as well, okay? So, for the guidance reading, I got Inner Guidance, Loving from Inside, Ageless Beauty, and Self-Belief, Okay. So, a lot of you guys have been listening to your intuition with inner guidance system, okay? Um, even though you feel like this was the end-all, be-all, okay? This was a wish for you. You guys know it's the right thing for you guys to walk away from this person. Now, loving from inside is basically loving who you are, knowing that you deserve the best, okay, with loving in from inside. Now, I got ageless beauty, okay? So, even though you may feel like you spent a lot of time with this person, Okay, a lot of years with this person, you know that they have to be someone better, okay? Even you could be older, younger, it doesn't matter. You know that there's going to be someone better than this person, okay? Knowing that your love is ageless, okay? Now, I got self-belief, okay? It's trying to say, if you've been lacking that you can find someone better or been lacking that you can get out of this connection, it's trying to say, you can you just got to believe it, okay? That's what I'm seeing, okay? And that's the reading that I got for you guys, okay? And thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can at queenfortotero at gmail.com.